Hi, my name is Tracy McMullen, and today's video will talk about Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service, jumping into PBCS. This is part one of a series where we will talk about the end user interface. PBCS delivers a simplified user interface for users. Users can view dashboards, which provide visual presentations of actuals and forecast data. If they've been provisioned, they can also create new dashboards as well. Users can access tasks. Task lists are created by interactive users or administrators to guide users through a process and it can include a number of different steps, including accessing dashboards, accessing data forms, running business rules, and more. Plans is another way for users to access simple forms or composite forms or ad hoc grids, user interfaces for users to be able to input data or review data that's in their PBCS application. Users can run business rules to calculate data. They can access approvals where they can review and approve plans. And finally, they can run reports either in an HTML or PDF format. Through the simplified UI, if you're an administrator, you can access the console, which is the central hub of creating and managing your PBCS application. All users can see the settings, which is where they define their preferences. And this is where administrators can also define application defaults. You can access the Academy, which has great tools and tutorials on how you can learn PBCS. Navigator is the final link for administrators and users to be able to jump to different types of administrative tasks. So if we jump into what the dashboards may look like, this is where power users and administrators can create visualizations of the data. So not only can they see numerical grids of information, you can create different types of charts. You can include URLs and commentary text all within a dashboard framework. Users can follow tasks, which are essentially their personal tour guide through a particular PBCS process. Again, interactive users or power users and administrators can create these task lists and assign due dates, and then users can track what tasks they have assigned to them, what's complete, what's outstanding, and then you can even include instructions on each particular task. End users can enter plans, and this is essentially where they're accessing data forms. And there are different types of data forms for users, but this is where they can enter in their, their plan or their forecast data and then run calculations and review the resulting calculation. New features include autosave. So as the user enters in and tabs over to the next cell, the data immediately calculates and responds. PBCS has some coloring options to help us understand what's going on. So if a data value has changed in a data form, it will be highlighted yellow or green, depending on the settings that the administrator has defined. But you can barely, very easily see what data has changed and then actually save and commit that back to PBCS. They can change their page dimensions, so be very dynamic in the, the plans that they're entering data for. Users also have the ability to enter plan data in Excel. Using the SmartView add-in, users can open up task lists and they can open up plans, enter in their numbers, submit the data, run calculations. Most of the end user features that are available over the web are available in Excel as well. So let's run through a quick demo of what the PBCS user interface looks like. So this is the home screen and you can see this is where we can access dashboards. And here's an example of a dashboard where I see a grid format, I see a pie chart, I see a line graph, and then I've actually got some commentary about the data that's being displayed. Users can refresh and access that information as it changes. Users can also access tasks. So they see all of the task lists that they've been provisioned and then can select a particular task, see its due date, and then that will actually jump them into the plan if it's a link to a data form, or run a business rule or whichever the task may be. So here we can see my inner sales forecast for the products data form has opened up and users can actually enter in data within this particular form. So they simply type in the web interface and can tab up and down and interact within the data form and, and change the data, click save, and then behind the scenes, the way this form has been set up is that a rule is run and we can see that the revenue has been updated and is automatically calculated for us. Within data forms, you can even link to additional data forms. So here I'm gonna jump to a summary form that shows me my summary revenue data. 
breadcrumbs are used so I can easily navigate back to that original form that I was in. I can toggle and hide the dimension names that are shown in my page section of the data form. I can also change the page options that I have selected. So right now I have the final version selected. If I wanted to change to one of my sandboxes and work with the sandbox, I can do that. The same for regions. So right now I'm focused on the region 410. I can easily use the member selection to be able to navigate and select a different member. And then the updated data will display within my PBCS form. If I click on the data tab, I can see a number of the other end user features that are available out of the box with PBCS. For example, I have the adjust data feature. So if I, let's say I wanted to increase a data value by 10%, PBCS does that calculation for me. So I can actually adjust the data. And then if I like that particular value, I can click save and it will save the data. I can also spread data from your total levels, from total product levels. I can filter rows, and, and if I wanted to filter out only rows that have data, or if I'm looking and based on a certain criteria, I can apply that. Supporting detail is another feature that's available to users as well. Um, you can, users can add supporting detail. So let's say they wanted to add in additional information that's kind of outside the constraints of what the application has been designed to do. So I can add in additional lines as supporting detail. So I have line one, and then I can add in a second line line two, and again, you're probably giving this a more descriptive name, but just to show you how this feature works. And then notice I click save and then it's going to update. And then the cell is actually highlighted blue. So, you know, any blue cells have been identified as supporting detail. There's a number of other end user features. I haven't covered them all, but you can see that it's a very easy to use interface within PBCS. Now I'll cover a few other features that end users can do within your plans. So we've already seen how users can add in supporting detail and additional lines of information for their plans. They could also add attachments. So if they want to post a spreadsheet that's got some assumptions, working assumptions and some calculations, they can do that. They can also add in commentary into the plan. So they select the desired cell or cells, and then they can enter in their comments. They click post, to, to post the comment once it's been entered. And from there, you can see the history of who posted the comment, when did they do it? So if another user were to come in, then they could actually reply to the comment and add additional information. So can you provide more details? And assuming that was a different user. So instead of having all of this commentary and these questions that often takes place within your email, you can include this in your application and include this uh, dialogue attached to the data so everyone can understand what's going on with the process. Now notice that if comments have been added, then you'll see the small triangle icon to note that. So users can then mouse over and they can actually show the comments to see the, the, uh, what's been said or what's been asked about a particular comment. Now, if I want to see the change history, I can also do that as well. So if I want to understand how data has changed, I can see who was the person who changed it, what was the old value, what was the new value. Another recent feature that's been added into PBCS is the auto save feature. So again, once I've navigated within my plans to the specific form folder where my plans exist, then if I enable this on a particular form, I can actually have users key in the information and notice that the hardware calculation is instantaneous. So now it hasn't actually been saved back to the system yet. Um, I have to click save to do that, but notice that instant auto calc feature or auto save feature um, allows the data to immediately kind of refresh and you see what's been updated. Sandboxing is another recent feature of PBCS. So users, if enabled, and if your application's been enabled, have the ability to create sandboxes. So their own sandboxes of data where they can then make some assumptions and play with the data, see the updated data values. And then if they decide to, then they can then post it back to their final versions or the actual versions that they have. So again, this form just works the same. The Sandbox is, is always going to be available. Users can save and it can run the, the forms, the business rules are attached to the form. 
But notice the data hasn't actually been published back yet. In order to do that, they actually specifically decide, yep, I'm gonna to go to action sandbox and I'm going to publish. And then this will take that data that we've entered here in our sandbox and actually publish it back to the final version that we've been working with. Notice that the sandbox goes away. So once it's been published, then the sandbox is, has gone away. Now here's another sandbox that had already been created. That's my worst case scenario where I was playing around with the numbers and, and kind of wanted to see you know, what my numbers would look like, what would be the impact in my worst case scenario. And then I could publish that if I wanted to, or if I just kind of wanted to see what that was, but then delete this version that's available to me as well. So I save and I see kind of the update on my impacted information. And then in this particular version, if I wanted to delete it, I can simply go to actions, sandbox, and then I can delete or I can publish, but I can delete the particular version. If I wanted to leave it, I could leave it as well. My final demo that I wanted to show you was how PBCS looks and works in Excel. So again, users have the ability to open up Excel and using the Smart View add-in, they can select their planning connection and then select the application. Notice that they can access plans, they can access tasks, and if they're administrators, they, ha they have the ability to maintain dimensions as well. So I can open up a particular task list and then navigate the task list. Note it's red if it's past its due date. The user can actually select and open up the particular form. There's a number of different options that can be set within Excel and how things are displayed, how you wanna set the formatting. If you wanna suppress missing data, you have the ability to do that. So you only see the rows that have data. In my case, I kind of want to get rid of that pound missing so it looks a little bit better on my form so I can change that particular option. I can save that as a default and I refresh and my form looks a little bit cleaner. From here, I can then enter in the plan data just like I did on the web. Now what's cool about this is I can actually use some of the Excel functionality to kind of click and drag cells if I want to and then that'll copy the values across. And then I simply click submit data and then that's going to save our data back to the PBCS application. Now, one of the reasons why PBCS is such a powerful tool is you can then do really any kind of slicing and dicing, assuming you've been provisioned access. So here I'm going to jump into analyze mode. And this is one of those features where, again, it makes it very easy if you're trying to find data and slice and dice data within a very easy to use Excel for view. Now notice you can also analyze and do the slicing and dicing in the web as well. So here I've kind of taken my form and what I want to do is I'm going to focus on the units. So I keep only on units and then that's going to filter that. Now what I want to do is just look at FY15 so I can keep only on FY15 and then I want to really look at your total. I don't want to just look at the third quarter. So I can zoom out and I'm kind of zooming through the database. And then same thing for products. So I'm at level zero products, but really what I wanna do is look at my top two uh, product lines, but I wanna see that across all of my sales entities. So I can notice I can drag dimensions to and from the point of view down into the rows and columns and vice versa. So I can zoom out on sales and then zoom back in to see, okay, what's my breakout international versus domestic. And again, I can very easily kind of slice and dice and move things around between my rows and columns. So finding data after users have input in their plans, it's immediately available and ready to slice and dice and report. And that's Look Smarter Than You Are, Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service, jumping into PBCS, the end user interface. Thank you.